All right, Astro Mike, here is our first question. It is from Tim Harwell, and it comes to us from Facebook. Tim says, <clears throat> what have you done with Neil deGrasse Tyson, and is it true that you two are the same person? No, I'm joking. That's not what it says at all. <laughs> Here's what it says. He's from San Antonio, Texas. How well, where is Neil, for Pete's sake? Right, where where is Neil? Him? He's not here right now. No, but no. I didn't do anything to him. You are the He's Neil fine. De- you are the Neil deGrasse Tyson, fine. my friend. Okay, how accurate was the depiction, uh, talking about the movie Gravity, which I know you liked, how accurate, accurate was the depiction of dead bodies Ooh. in space? Well, uh, you know, we haven't had to deal with that, so I'm not really sure what they would look like, but I did think about it, Chuck. Okay. And when I saw what happened, and I think it probably is somewhat accurate. And even if you took, because you're at a vacuum, if you took a, a good shot and you were injured uh, and you were exposed to the vacuum, I don't think there'd be a lot of blood. Right. I think it would probably all kind of cauterize and freeze almost immediately. Right. So I, in some ways, although you don't want to dwell on this, when you think about what would happen... I think it kind of showed accurately kind of showed what, what it might see. So, so now let me follow up with a, with another question very quickly. But we don't want my... to test that. No, Go no, ahead. we don't. Yeah. Here's my own personal right. question for that. Is there a NASA protocol mm-hmm. for bringing back one of your comrades uh, who is deceased in space? So you're on a mission. Yeah. Uh, you know, your buddy dies. It can, is it there a protocol? It could happen, but not, you know, out of all the training I had, we never went over that one. What? So Yeah. So if we were, we never went over what we would do to dispose of how we would, what, you know, I think we would probably improvise, right. and meaning that if something happened in a spacesuit, we'd probably just keep them inside of the spacesuit. It's a bit morbid, it but is that's probably morbid. what we would do. We'd probably keep them in there. So basically, it's your, kinda, kinda bad. your training for that is the movie Weekend yeah, at Bernie's. We don't want, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we never, you know, there are certain things you just don't want to sim. Wanna... You know, I, it is something that, no, we're not going to train that one. Right. You know, we train just about every other medical procedure and everything you need to do. Now, uh, do you think that's psychological? That we went, do you think that's psychological? You know what? It might be. I think it might be. I think at some point, like, I don't we would probably, send... we'd be like, you know what? We're not going to deal with that. If something happens, we'll figure it out. It, we're right. not, we, don't need to, we don't need to do that. No. Okay. So okay. no, we never. So we you never, never had that. a training exercise. No, it's for... I, out of all of my training, we train all kinds of morbid kind of situations and bad emergency stuff that hopefully will never happen, but never being an undertaker in space, <laughs> we don't train that. So now here's here's mm-hmm. the question though. Right. Now, since there is no protocol, yeah. Do you think they would bring the body back home, kind of a mm-hmm. la Marines, or launch it into space, kind of like Spock on Star Trek? From a photon torpedo bay. If it's one of my buddies, yes, he's coming home. Coming home, and that's not negotiable. So nobody gets left behind. I would, I would, th- you know, I, this is a pretty, you know, I don't, I wonder what would really happen in that situation. But my, my quick reaction is, my, my buddy's coming. My buddy's coming home. Now, would you want somebody to bring you home, or would you want to be launched into space, the place that you love, and one of the few human beings who had an opportunity to be there? Uh, I would probably let my friends decide that. But if I, if it's not a, it's not a question in my will necessarily for this sort of thing. But I would, I would probably want to come home too. I think, to... I think it's more for the family. Right. I think is what I'm thinking here. It's a bit of a morbid situation, but I think you know the family having a body back to have whatever service you would need. Right. I, I think we we. We would, we would want to do that if we could. Well, there you have it, Tim. There it is. Uh, there is no protocol whatsoever. So, But the depiction of dead bodies in space was pretty rapid. How you know, you think about it. What would happen if you got cut and you were exposed to vacuum? And what would happen to you if you got exposed to vacuum? How you, what you would look like? And I would I, I, cry like a six-year-old uh, girl. You would probably, but it would have to be very quick. <laughs> because <laughs> You'd go fast, man. You wouldn't even know it. You'd go fast. All right.